Okay, welcome everybody to another Pioneer League. Going to be playing some more Amelia Combo today. This is the list that I think I'm going to be... It's going to be something very similar to this to run at my RCQ this coming weekend. Um, a lot of people have been doing quite a lot of work on this, so I've just messed around with some of the sideboard stuff, but still taking big inspiration from the likes of um, Stallonge, who plays a lot of the deck. So, um, a couple of changes. We are on the bat main deck. Um, it's been really good, just... You, you know you can take their removal or it and then they have to have kind of two they sometimes have to waste their removal spell on that it can gain you life to start the combo which is good and we got one self for savior good to cord for um to make your amelia indestructible to get around like fatal push and stuff um other than that the mana base has changed a little bit and then some sideboard stuff. So we're on Tamiyama safekeeping. Tamiyama, I always say Tamiyama. Tamiyo's safekeeping. Um, been really nice. It can kickstart the combo by gaining two life. Um, I can also just protect your Amelia. Um, and I think that's prob about all the changes. So um, yeah, been going really well. Um, been really impressed with the deck so far. So um, yeah, my RCQ is on Saturday. So thought I'd. Uh, spend this week playing as much Amelia as I can. Um, unfortunately, this will replace the Friday Footfalls video that's usually out. Um, that will be on hiatus just for this week, um, but we'll return with a vengeance next week um, as we get back into preparing for more modern. Um, got the Axion Now tournament in early May, and also there's a, uh, a Modo qualifier coming up as well, which I'm, I'm planning to play. So, um, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope everyone's doing very well wherever you are uh, please do consider subscribing thanks very much if you if you have already um, really does mean a lot helping support the channel um, but yeah let's let's get into it so um, this is not great it's got a gate a life gain thing but only one land ether flux reservoir we don't really want to see um, until we need it so yeah gonna mulligan this one and this hand is busted um, <laughs> This is the turn three. Uh, oh, it's not quite turn three because of um, this tap land. I think I'm going to get rid of Wild Growth Walker number two. Um, if we can find an untapped white source, turn one. This is turn three kill. Obviously, assuming the opponent doesn't do anything to interact with us. We can still do it now. Um, we can go turn two Amelia, find a land, go turn three Lunark, Wild Growth Walker, but unlikely given that the opponent's playing Rakdos. Okay, another Amelia isn't too bad. So we'd really like a land off the top. We have got this return to the ranks. We've got five cards in hand. Okay, well they're drawing with Reckon a Bank Buster by the look of it. Um, so they're either confident that they have a fatal push or... Okay, they do have the push. Okay, so here... Depends if we, hmm, we really want to draw the land. Okay, Extraction Specialist not the best. Um, I mean, it's fine. We just need to draw a land. I think I'm just going to play another Amelia and pass. Just keep threatening the combo next turn. So yeah, just untap land. Stop drawing again. Untap land, veteran, wild growth walker. Attack for 20 odd. Okay, there's a triumph this time. That's fine. <laughs> right, let's see a land for Extraction Specialist. We do find the land, that's really nice. Okay, so, yep, we'll just go Extraction Specialist. Amelia again. Opponent's at nine life as well after uh, having to shock in a couple of times and point double removal at Amelia. Okay, Gaia Reach, it looks like it's mono black splashing for red, which is probably that like fable. I would hazard a guess. We got 
five cards in hand. They could go Shieldred. Hopefully they just tap out for Shieldred here. Okay, go blank. So we're going to get rid of Fauna Shaman and return to the ranks. Return to the ranks, not very helpful, given that our graveyard's getting exiled. Okay, well, we'll we'll go for it here. Ask the question. Actually, they if they had a kill spell, I thought they I think they would have probably killed it um, before they go blank curse. Okay, well we are comboing. So, Court of Calling on the top. We're pretty much putting anything in the graveyard here that's not Ether Flux Reservoir. Okay, we'll keep that one on top. Bit of a. It's not like too annoying on Modo. It's actually better. It's, it's a weird combo in that it's actually better on Modo than on in paper. In paper, tracking this is quite painful. If anyone's got any tips on uh, good ways to track it, that would be much appreciated. So yeah, we're going up to. Yeah, usually end on somewhere between seventy and ninety life. We're gonna shock the overgrown tomb in so that we've got access to Besaju. Not that I don't think we'll need it. Okay, and just attack for 21. So we were asking the uh, the question turns sort of, you know, three upwards. So mono black, what do we want? I think we can consider Tamiyo. Definitely want the Sentinel. We want the Reservoir. Um, I think we probably won't get lost. What don't we like? So I usually cut some number of veterans there's awful top decks. Um, do you want to be careful that we don't make our collected companies too bad by cutting too many creatures? Um, Skyclave is okay at dealing with... I mean they're probably splashing red for Fable. Um, I wonder if we want to cut one Skyclave. We could bring in like Haywire Might or something. Or another bat. I think another bat is probably good. And then maybe a. Hmm. No, I think we'll keep the skyclave in. No, no. Let's let's go one tamios. Right, can be a good gotcha card. Right. So what do we think of this? I think this is fine. Um, it's a. It, it, actually, yeah, yeah. No, I think this is good. Um, mulliganing against the heavy discard decks not good but and um, we've got half the combo we've got fauna shamans to find the other half potentially um, but yeah best laid plans are going to be uh, ruined here by a thought seize this deck seems to be quite a lot harder to play against than Rakdos um, just the uh, presence of things like um, go blank just makes our, our return to the ranks because sometimes against Rakdos you can just return to the ranks and it just wins the game on the spot so this definitely implies they have an answer for one of these fauna shamans ok they play crocs uh, what do we get rid of I think it's just one shaman I think I want to keep the lands. Okay, Bat is interesting. I think I'm just going to go Shaman though. It's like a lightning rod. They kind of... Oh, Necromancia is not good. Okay. Two cards in hand for the opponent. So they name Amelia and then we're on kind of a bit of a rubbish beat down plan really. But we can get rid of this wild growth walker to fauna shaman. 
So we'll go play the land, um, play the bat. See what they've got. They've got Knight of Dust Shadow and Go Blank. So that means we can't gain life, but we don't really care. So I'm just going to take the Go Blank here. Um, and then Lunar Veteran's a good one to discard. So we'll probably just go and get a value creature here. Oh, yeah, they've got Go Blank under there. Okay, Fable is a very good draw. Uh, I wonder if I'm meant to get Skyclave now. Discard the veteran. Um, so it's either Skyclave. I think I'm just going to get Skyclave to eat the Fable because we're going to have to deal with that at some point anyway. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll go Skyclave. Eat Fable. And then do we just attack with the Shaman? Definitely attack with the bat. I think I think we do. I'm happy to take this trade given that we've got two copies of Return to the Ranks in Um, in our hand. The next turn, we probably we might, I might take a turn off attacking. Ooh, Sentinel's good. Um, so we can't gain life. I think I'm willing to trade this for a. Yeah, because this is the last time in which we can attack through this. And otherwise they can start pumping mana into it. But Oh, we do gain... Uh, no, we don't gain the life. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, I think that's best here. Now this turn, hopefully the opponent doesn't find anything amazing. Like any removal on the bat is really bad for us here. Okay, Cord is interesting. So what we can do is attack, make a token, and then return to the ranks. Is it worth, I think I'm not gonna attack with the bat. This having vigilance for um, the purposes of that return to the ranks and stuff is really good. So we go one, two, three, white. Just bring back a load of stuff. And yeah, getting that um, out from underneath the go blank is very good. Okay, uh, so they play another fable. Do we have the other Skyclave? Oh, I sideboarded out the other Skyclave. I must stop doing that. Um, okay. So we can just cord. I think we're going to start by exploring the bat because it can get through. Collected Company. Uh, that's an annoying one because we. I am pretty much going to search this time. No, we'll just make the bat bigger. It's definitely possible. Um, that we should been that. It's definitely possible we shouldn't attack with the sentinel here, but I think we just need to yeah, go as quickly as possible here. Okay, the opponent eats a couple of creatures, that's fine. 
they go to five though. Um, I think now we just go for the veteran from graveyard. There's another flying attacker. Actually, maybe yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Opponent gets two looks here at. They need a wrath, really. Um, they don't use fable. So path of peril. They have fatal push, which is that's fine. Oh, go blank's going to be rough. So we'll get rid of Walker and return to the ranks. But we're drawing Coco. Um, which I think we just, yeah, we'll just play. Um, so they're not the best. Maybe we should have done that post combat actually. Let's go bat and I think it's actually extraction specialist just as the 3-2 lifelinker then yeah we'll just attack again with everything actually is it worth attacking it's not worth attacking with shaman but this gives them a decent double block Yeah, I'm just attacking with everything. Yeah, thought that might be the case. Okay, so we'll kill the illusion token. We'll gain a life. So yeah, our kind of mopey mid-range plan here. Uh, they, oh, they could, oh, they could have escaped Croxa, uh, um, but they, yeah, they just can't beat the Flyers. Okay, well, good to, good to win that one. See you for round two. Okay, you would like to play first here, and yeah, this hand's good. Uh, really good. Just needs. Um, Wildgrowth Walker, but we have got Cord for that. Play out the Veteran. So yeah, next time we're going to play Amelia. Um, obviously, Amelia needs to attack to win the game. So having uh, on the field is good. Uh, right, just play Amelia here. I wonder if I meant to attack with this. Maybe? No, I don't think so. No, don't want to attack there. Because if we draw exactly Wild Growth Walker. Okay, opponent of Thought Seizes. Um bit of an interesting take here. I would imagine they take Cord of Calling. Yeah, because next turn we can go land and cord for the combo. Um, it doesn't win the game because we'd have to tap Amelia. Okay, they attack, which indicates they were willing to use that. Okay, another sleeper. So, opponent dead to Wild Growth Walker, which they we don't find. So let's just go land. Um, we play the land that they know about there, which is a little bit awkward. Play the innkeeper here, gain some life, do some surveilling. Return to the ranks. Hmm. Do we want to draw that return to the ranks? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we can make an attack here. Maybe we should have kept the return to the ranks, but we do have this extraction specialist. 
Okay, they've seen this a couple of times. Um, it's the new kind of dark confidant, but it has to attack to do the thing. Um, so yeah, when it attacks, uh, you lose life. You reveal the top card and put it into your hand, and then you lose uh, life equal to its mana value. And you don't lose the life. Oh, you lose life equal to that card's mana if it isn't saddled. Otherwise, each opponent loses that much life. Okay, so yeah, it's um, you can essentially crew it. Um, it becomes saddled until end of turn, essentially crewed, and then you yeah do something different. So this looks like mono black aggro. Okay, so I'm just gonna go. It's not likely we need this Besaidu. So I'm just gonna collect a company main phase. Because if we hit, um, uh, we don't hit it. But we will put both of these onto the battlefield. Uh, any order. Because we get an extra life and therefore surveil. Um, we'll keep this new one. Okay. The Camellia is going to become. C Note Scout can go. Okay, opponent decides to just pack it in. It wasn't lethal, but I guess with an aggro deck, we're just gaining so much life and exploring so much. Um, okay, so we're going to bring in Fatal Pushes. Uh, pro probably not the safekeeping just at the moment. I don't think against this one we want the Ether Flux because if we, given that they're aggro, they're probably not just they're not probably not going to be able to beat us just going to a hundred odd life. Um, I think I'm going to bring in the Get Lost because they may have the Knight in their sideboard. I think Sentinel's not great. Uh, Bat is okay. I want all the life gains. Let's trim a Savior and trim maybe one return to the ranks. Let's try that. Right, we see a one lander, but it does have a lot to like other than that. We've got three looks at a land with this C note scout. Find land, go. Let's give this a go. I, I'm not. I don't think keeping one landers is usually good, unless you know you'd keep a one lander with a cantrip out of some of that phoenix. So I think um, C note scout kind of counts for that, and we do find the land. Fortunately. Um, oh, in that case, I should have played the veteran. That was that was the wrong land to play. Um, I'm going to play the scout though. Uh, innkeeper, yeah, we can graveyard that one. Just want to dig towards our. Um, uh, wild growth walkers now. Well, there is a wild growth walker, so we'll go land. They use their cut down, so and we've top decked amongst the best cards we could have possibly top decked. So, I mean, we're going to go for it here. There's no way we don't. Okay. So yeah, the opponent just dies here. We just turn three of them because we get to go innkeeper. Oh no, because we don't have the land. Unless we find it with Amelia. Oh, I thought we were going to turn three. Okay. That is a little bit annoying. Okay, let's go veteran. So we need to gain some life. Um... If we put that into the graveyard, it kind of protects against thought seas. Put it into the graveyard, no. Um, I mean, there's no way we're blocking. Uh, plus three, plus three. So I think we have to block one of these. Yeah, so we'll just block with a veteran here. got 
three cards in hand. I'm assuming one of them's Fatal Push because they know we've got a Walker on the top. Okay, Swift wins there over some um, black based mid range and aggro decks. So let's see for round for a bit. Let's move on to round three. Right, on the play. I think we've been on the play every time here, which is always really good. Uh, yeah, we like this hand. Um, again, we can go uh, better and into Amelia, try and surveil into a Wild Growth Walker. We've got some good interaction and recursion as well. And redundant Amelia is never bad. Is Amelia a rare? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Lead us off, veteran. Steam vents, so probably Phoenix. <laughs> well, I mean, this is just the turn three, uh, and this is one of the big draws to this deck. Like, just the ability to sometimes just win the game on turn three. Hopefully, this goes shredder and pass, and we just win the game. Well, they're kind of forced to hold up stuff here. <laughs> and a redundant one of those as well. Okay, well, we'll, we'll uh. Oh, I sh didn't mean to tap the mana confluence there. Oh, make disappear. Okay, wasn't expecting that one. but So, possibly not Phoenix, possibly another like blue red control style deck. We're just going to ask the question again. Hopefully, let's go Fable. Yep. Sorry, opponent. We have. Doesn't really matter here. No, it doesn't matter at all. Yep. So, yeah. That was pretty good. So we're assuming this is, uh, it could be creativity or it could be some sort of other control or it could be Drake. I don't think Drake's run Fable though. So we're gonna want the Thought Seizes and the Bat. Um, I don't really know what it is, so Redain is difficult to bring in. Um, I think Apparition is fine into Fable. Etherflux Reservoir, we cut. Let's cut one Specialist and one Veteran, probably. Or do we want the Sentinel? Yeah, I think Sentinel is fine against that control. Right, interesting hand this one. So we haven't really got much going on. Um, we don't have, no, I think we have to mulligan this up. We've got some powerful stuff, we need lands, and we don't have any early game. I think I'm gonna mulligan this one. Uh, this is better, but only just. Um, I think I'll bottom the mana confluence. Yeah. Maybe should have, yeah, no, I think Mana Confidence is fine. Okay, another chord's not too bad. We can go Amelia this turn. Do we jam Amelia just into a Make Disappear? I, mean, I think so. I'm not going to wait. want to get creatures onto the battlefield as well. Okay, they did use. see um, what they have. So it's probably creativity. Uh, okay, so we'll let that go. Okay, raise a verge 
stick it. So we can't cord for we can cord for one. Oh, I guess we do do that actually. Yeah, just cord for one, so we can go and get the life gain uh, creature. We'll probably just do it. Ooh, rending volley. So we'll let them pay three life. And now we're going to cord for. Oh, we can't cord because I haven't got the. I haven't got triple green. Oh, that uh, godless shrine. Coming back to bite us there. Okay. That's a little bit annoying, but. I uh, should turn off auto yields here so we can besage you the clue token. So they are creativity. Okay, we get Thundering Falls. But we're going to have to find something. So they did it for one, so they're probably a Traxxer or. Okay, let's just cord now. Uh, yeah, let's get the veteran. Not the best. Uh, for mana I've ever spent, but plays around spell pierce at least. Then next turn we can cord for Amelia, and the turn after we can cord for Wild Growth Walker. I mean that is quite slow. But uh that's the plan anyway. So Skyclave is probably coming out. Well, it hits Fable actually, which I think I'm just going to do now. Okay, Everyone Tomb's pretty good because I think that might enable us to go Skyclave. No, again, I haven't got enough. Uh, I haven't got enough green. Eat the Fable. Maybe we're meant to just cord there. Like cord for Amelia, surveil, not surveil, explore. Okay, print attacks with this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna block. Uh, no, I'm not actually, because we want to be able to cord with Skyclave. Don't think we have enough to. No, we don't have enough to cord and then cord yet. Oh, anger of the gods is rough. Two cards in hand for the opponent. There's creativity as well. Quake bringer. Okay, so that's a real problem. Um. Yep, yeah, that's. Probably just game. Don't think we can cord for anything to get out of this one. Okay, so yeah, we'll concede. So they're bringing in Quake Bringers. That's you know that's their that's likely to be their only creativity target. Um, so we're going to bring in Get Lost and Redain. Um, and then we can cut the Skyclaves. Extraction specialist is potentially interesting. Um, is Sentinel going to be that good? I think I'll trim the Sentinel. Yeah, let's try that. Um, what do we think of this? So we go turn one, this, turn two, this. No, I think we have to mulligan. This is, yeah, this is better. Uh, we'll bottom one of these. Uh, I am going to play the tapped godless shrine. 
I think next turn, what we're going to play? We go steam vents. Okay, that's a good draw. So now I'm just going to go. It's tempting to go innkeeper so we can Coco next turn. Um, yeah, I think I am going to do that. Like it's very possible that we can't because they just hold up mana. Okay. So now we just have to start playing stuff. But it does allow us to play around um, make disappear. Um, do I play this or do I hold it for Fauna Shaman? I think I'm going to hold it for Fauna Shaman. It's a good one to discard anyway. We kind of want the opponent to just go Fable. Oh, they go Torch the Tower. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, Fauna Shaman just acting as a bit of a lightning rod for us. Okay, well there's Amelia. That's interesting. So I think I'm going to play that first. Obviously we'd normally want to go um, Lunark Veteran then Amelia to gain the ex get the extra trigger. But here... I was playing around make disappear. Okay, we'll gain the life, play the veteran. Play this. And yeah, we're kind of hoping they don't have uh, creativity here. Like creativity for this is really, really bad. Uh, sorry, creativity for Quakebringer really bad for us. But they're not slamming it. Well, they're doing something. Okay, Fable. So they'd have to have Spell Pierce. Are they likely to be running... S well, they can't counter it Spell Pierce now. Um, we do know they run Anger of the Gods. We'd have to Coco into exactly the combo. Uh, hmm. Trouble is, if they untap, they can play. Let me know what you do here. I think I'm just going to go for it. Like, if we can combo them, potentially. I think I want to resolve this collector complete. The trouble is, if they untap and. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Well, they can't they can't counter it at the moment. Oh, we nearly hit it. Um so we go Wild Growth Walker and the Scout. So we can gain a load of life. Uh, no, we'll keep that one on top. So yeah, we're getting quite a lot of life here. So yeah, we're able to jam next turn. But if the opponent quake brings us, then we are not able to do that and then it would be a case of needing to find um they did it's two lands so yeah now it's yeah if, if they quick bring it it's the case of needing to find get lost not blocking here i don't think well maybe i could have blocked with uh that, that, maybe that implies they've got anger of the gods well no anger of the gods um i feel like we're just jamming 
I've got four cards in hand. I've used one rending volley and a torch to the tower. Okay, another rending volley. But we'll gain some life. Um, we'll attack with these two. Don't mind trading these for a muta vault. Ooh, maybe that was bad because if they have torch to the tower, they can kill this. Yeah, that's probably really bad actually. We could also have. Um, I could have had prismatic might Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Should just attack with this one, and it's dead as well. Yeah, that was quite an error actually. Three cards in hand for the opponent. We are at 30 life. How many... Well, we're down one walker. Hmm. Okay, creativity for... Yeah. Okay, so now we need to find get lost. Uh, I don't know how long to give this. If they attack, we will mob block. Oh, they can copy it. It's pretty awful. You need to have a plan for this one. This one is um, something that red decks will bring in, mostly creativity. So yeah, now we're on... Uh, get lost or nothing really. Okay, let's just draw a card. Hmm. Lenark Veteran. Well, we'll play it, but I think this is probably over for us. Can't gain any life. They copy this. We need to find Get Lost and for them to have pretty much nothing. Okay, <laughs> I think we can concede to the dig through time. Okay, well that was rough. I think we we went for it and I think it was right to go for it. Um, there was one point where we could have, if we'd have hit, we hit the one of them and not the other. If we'd hit both we would have comboed, although they had friendly Volley and Torch the Tower and loads of of good stuff so okay well we'll move on to round number four all right yeah uh, here we are for round number four gonna play first um i think i'm gonna mulligan this five lands just yeah it's just a bit much we've got one wild growth walker this is much better we've got two parts of the combo and a return to the ranks uh what are we gonna bottom i think it's just an overgrown tomb keep the keep the seiju I think the only black cards in the main are Amelia and one bat. Let's play the thicket. Veteran. Let's see what the opponent's on. If they thought seize the Amelia, we can return to the ranks at Death Right Shaman. Okay, so that's actually quite annoying against our list. With the extraction specialist to return to the ranks and stuff. You don't see it too much in Pioneer. The uh, card that's banned in, I think everything else. It's definitely banned in Modern. I think, yes, yeah, it's banned in Legacy as well. But the absence of fetch lands. Oh, Stitch is a player. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, so let's see what we draw. Wild Growth Walker for the win. Oh, 
Okay, Sky Clay Repression is actually fine because we've got this Razor Verge thicket. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of the Shaman. Just yeah, good graveyard hate against star. I think that's what we're trying to do. Chord of calling. Uh, nope, we'll keep that on top because that wins the game next turn. If we'd managed to hit a wild growth walker, we could have comboed there. But okay, insidious roots. Um, I'm just going to block because we're going to try and combo this turn anyway. Oh, it does get to make one mana of any colour. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because. Hmm. One, two, three. Let's play the Besage. We can go again next turn with Return to the Ranks. So I think we're going to just go for it here. And it's probably just going to push our Amelia. Walker. Okay, well, I haven't killed it in response. So we at least get some life and a couple of explores. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, so really looking for. So we've put the whole combo into the graveyard again. So really looking for Ether Flux Reservoir. We're not going to be able to dig massively through our library. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Leave that one on top. Okay, just go through the motions. I'm assuming this means the opponent doesn't have fatal push. We get to mill three, unless we have something millable. Uh, they, they haven't got a fatal push, they would have used it. Oh, okay. What was that? Mill two cards. You may put a permanent card from. Oh, okay. So that goes with the. Wait, can this not block? Oh, they go to one. Oh, they gain two life. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Seed of Hopes. It's an instant. Mill two cards, put a permanent card among the milled cards. So that has to be a creature card for that to trigger. Okay, so it's a green black Insidious Root style list. So Insidious Root is weird because we can't really remorseful cleric because it just makes a load of tokens, or is it? Whenever one or more, I'm not sure, but I think I'd rather fight on the just removing the insidious roots. So we didn't see any removal, it was mostly aggro style stuff. So I'm going to bring in Haywire, might gain some life and exiles the insidious roots. Uh, I could consider push or get lost. Um, I don't think we want Sentinel necessarily. What about the Reservoir? I think we're going to trim the Reservoir. Maybe just bring in. Or maybe we do want Remorseful Cleric. No, I don't think so. Let's bring it. I'll keep in the Reservoir. 
Right, an interesting hand here. We can go veteran into veteran, but I think we can do better. Uh, this is better. So what are we bottoming? It's one of these three drops. I think it's just extraction specialist. They've got two parts of the combo. They've got some interaction for what they're doing. Question is, do you want to play this haywire might on turn one? Um, I think so. Use our mana. Yep, take some damage. So yeah, it's a proper aggro build here. Yeah, okay, so we'll just put in the innkeeper. Pass the turn. They're attacking for five now. Could block with Haywire, might, given that we've got this return to the ranks, but I don't think so. Yeah, we'll take five because I'm just going to apparition next turn, gain a life back. Okay. Sure. Okay, so see what we draw. We draw another innkeeper. Um, so I'll play the Beseju and then I'm just going to apparition. It's annoying that we have to use the treasure. Right, so here we want to stack the triggers so that the innkeeper one resolves last after we get rid of the knight. Get to gain a life. Um, oh, that's why Deathrite Shaman's in here, so because it um, is able to commit crimes for some. Oh, they have another one of those. Okay. Blocking is a bit awkward here. I think I'm just gonna block with Haywire, might gain some life. Because we can, in theory, bring it back with Return to the Ranks. Although, oh no, they have the Death Rite Shaman now. Hmm. Okay, Fauna Shaman's good. So that's just, hmm. Oh, we can't gain life. That's actually, uh, did they play that before I blocked with Haywire Might? That's probably stupid. How much are they attacking for? Three, five, six. They can exile. Okay, they can't damage us with that. Let's play Fauna Shaman. Turn. Okay, they have the push. They're attacking for a lot of damage here, though. Agatha's Soul Cauldron as well. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just block. Yeah, how do you do this one? It's another creature card. Okay, so we'll just block like that. They haven't got another creature card to. Oh, they can put a counter on it though. Okay, there's not much we can do here, I don't think. Okay, well, there's a Malia, so <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, we're just uh, pretty dead here. Okay, so good showing from the opponent's deck so they are on things like uh, Fatal Push I wonder if we want 
We're going to bring in the get losses and the fatal pushes actually because we saw that knight and we saw two of them so we definitely want ways to get rid of that. Reservoir gets cut, haywire might, although haywire might is an out to the soul cauldron isn't too bad. Given that they've got a lot of graveyard hate I think cutting a couple of specialists um, and I think I'm going to cut a collected company just because we've we've cut quite a few um, creatures um, would we rather have something like deep cavern bat instead of the l no I think one specialist is fine I might cut one return to the ranks I think return to the ranks is better because you can return to the ranks for multiple targets so they can't just blow us out with soul cauldron or shaman uh, yeah this hand's really good oh, no white mana but we do have the innkeeper double besage is a little annoying but they do run quite a lot of artifacts and enchantments put up mulliganing down to five so we're going to go scout Are we going to go scout first? Yeah, I think I value that. Given that we've got the innkeeper in hand. Lunark veteran. Yep, we'll graveyard that one. Can't cast it anyway. And we get to disturb it. I say I doubt the opponent runs Thought Seize, but this could be Thought Seize. Okay, Doorhound. Okay, another veteran, not really what we want to see. Uh, this has got Menace. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less is about to surveil 2. Okay, so we can attack for 2. Play the innkeeper. Pass the turn. Next turn we can go Amelia. Look for if we find Wild Growth Walker off the top. Oh, that's an, oh we have the get lost. So okay, so probably going to use that. Oh, we need another white mana though. There we go. So let's just do this now. I guess we could just go Amelia, but I kind of want the surveil. We're going to have to kill this anyway. I think I'm just going to do it at sorcery speed so that we get a trigger. Uh, nope, we'll keep that one on top. No way we're blocking. So we do have the, the kill this turn. And the opponent sees the writing on the wall. <laughs> that was a very good uh, explore. Um, okay, so we're three and one. Let's play for the four one. Okay, we're on the draw. We're gonna mulligan. No lands. Uh this sounds really good if we can find a land is hoping to find a land in two draw steps better than going to five I think we're gonna go to five this is okay again we need a land but I'm gonna definitely get rid of the reservoir I wonder if it's getting rid of the veteran here Yeah. Kind of wish I'd kept the six and risked it. Okay, another ley line deck here. So it's going to be green. Yeah, so this green ramp deck's been there. I've seen it a couple of times. Okay, let's play the Blooming Martian Pass. I think if we get to activate Fauna Shaman, we probably need to um, search for Innkeeper.
Oh, they get to make four mana on turn two. Trample haste four four. Okay. That's a pretty pretty good start. Okay. Play the shaman and pass. Yeah, the combination between Nykthos and Leyline, and they've got the Citadel as well, so they're able to activate. Yeah. How much is this to transform? Seven mana. Well, they had four last turn, but now they add an additional two, three. So they could just transform this into an eight, eight. Okay, Mystic's essentially free. So it adds a pip for Nykthos. Seven mana. They're going to transform it. That's scary. Ulvenwald, Bayamoth. Okay, Kiora. Right, so we're taking a lot of damage. They managed to transform this and play that. We're taking five, uh, eight, uh, what's that, 13, 14, 15. Well, we'll go to one. That's a pretty good turn three. Okay. <laughs> Nothing we can do there. Okay, so they're mostly creature based, so I don't think um Redain is gonna be that useful. Thought Seas might be. They are playing I think Get Lost actually, yeah. Um what do we cut? So Selfless Saviour, Aetherflux Reservoir is probably good, Sentinel, well, Skyclave is probably fine, we can cut a couple of extraction and a return to the ranks, I think Bat is probably fine, bring in the Get Losts, um, what about Haywire might, probably not, who can sit at Archon of Amaria? Yeah, I think Archon of Mary is fine. And then maybe one of Haywire might. Then oh, they do. Uh, maybe a self for the Savior is fine because they do run the fight spell Arch Druid's Charm. Okay, we'll play first. And this sounds good. Then we can go turn one veteran, turn two Amelia look for the walker to win the game on turn three we'll have another look with innkeeper as well potentially play the veteran past the turn no ley line this time Don't think we're really interested in fighting over ley line too much with like haywire mites and things. Okay, go Amelia. Get to explore. Okay, find the land. Um are we attacking? If we find, let's say we find Chord of Calling, we go. Uh, we still can't do it. So, yeah, we can attack here. Like we're happy if the opponent blocks. We're happy if they don't. Really. I guess maybe we're not meant to, given that we don't carry the way, giving them the choice. Okay, they fight Nykthos. So they play. But nothing else. Okay, so we've got some looks here. So we'll go Razor Verge Thicket. We'll play the Innkeeper. 
because if we find oh no we don't get yeah we can't play wild growth walker this turn obviously but we will take a explore archon of Ameria. uh yeah i don't think we're in the market for that play another innkeeper just try and dig as far through our library as we can what's revealed there turn to the ranks yeah bin that then we'll play the veteran as well Melia is a 6-6. Six, six. We have run out of gas though. We can cycle the land next turn. But unless they play something really big. Like Amelia is still able to attack in. They play a tap land, which is probably good for us. They have three mana. Okay, they're just passing the turn. Uh, they can't Archdruid's Charm here. Okay, well, Self the Savior. So, Self the Savior is an interesting one because it could. Like we get a lot of looks here and if we surveil something on top we can draw if we surveil it would have to be cord of calling onto the top of our library and we can then draw it with scatter groves and cord using creature mana okay well <laughs> um play the mana confluence Attack with everything. Maybe I was meant to just draw actually. Yeah, I was probably meant to draw in case we draw exactly cord. And then, yeah, still could have corded. Okay. Well, our uh, kind of not too mopey beat down, but our beat down works. Um could consider fatal push but I think the, everything else we've got going on is better one of extraction specialists is good I think reservoir can actually come out I don't yeah I think it's gonna be a dead draw some of the time um, don't want sentinel let's just bring in a one of push Push can kill like turn one elf or the the big ill mold thing with revolt. Right, this hand is interesting. It's a lot slower. I think I'm gonna keep it though. Okay, no ley line from the opponent. I think it's this hand's just about better than mulliganing down to six. Like the collected company will have to do quite a lot of work. Ooh, fatal push. That's uh that makes this hand a lot more appealing. That was obviously a really, really good draw. Just slow the opponent down, play our Amelia. Okay, draw another land, it's not Great. We'll play Amelia. I wonder if I'm meant to just play Extraction Specialist here. Look, it does have Life Link. Actually, the next land is pretty good. 
I may just get lost the Kiora. Well, Wild Growth Walker is pretty good. But we can't, we currently can't trigger it. I could play Extraction Specialist. And then next turn go Walker, Attack, and then go for it. Or next turn we can just Coco. I think I'm just going to play the Walker. i has got four cards in hand. I'm a bit worried as to whether they're just going to go nuts this turn. With Curas and stuff. But they haven't got... It's not like they have loads and loads of mana. They could untap that. Make. I still only four mana. Okay, they play the troll, which is fine. Do we just. I think we just cocoa at sorcery speed, because if we hit. We need something to gain us life is the problem. Or we could just play Extraction Specialist. Um, hmm. I think we just have to Coco. We, but we'd need to hit... Actually, any, li any life gain creature in another one does it. So, yeah, we've got quite a lot of... Yeah, that does it. Okay. Actually, we hit both. So, we just go Innkeeper and Scout. Any order... Starts the chain going. Uh, see what was revealed. Yep. Uh, yeah. Not sure what what we're looking for here. Probably like return to the ranks. Another cocoa. Yeah. Uh, Sky Clay is not too bad. I mean, it's not probably going to matter. Okay, opponent decides to pack it in. And yeah, we complete a decent league. So yeah, deck performed really, really well. Um, find the list I think yeah this is what I will end up playing at my RCQ this weekend um, so yeah any questions do give me a shout any suggestions definitely let me know um, I think this will be going out on Friday so and my RCQ is Saturday morning so if anyone's got any burning suggestions or tips or anything please do let me let me know um, but yeah other than that I hope you enjoyed and see you again soon cheers <laughs>